right. The time has come for the final to go down. And by the time has come, I mean tomorrow the final will go down. We've got Casper Rude versus Novak Djokovic. I've got my notes here. More on what Casper has to do to try and have a chance to win this because we all know that Djokovic has this one in the palm of his hand. If he plays his best tennis, you've got to think there's almost no chance for young Casper Rude, friend of the show. But I believe in Casper. And anyone who doesn't or thinks he has no chance is out to lunch because this guy's a serious baller and it's not his first major final. So I think that's going to help him. We're going to break down his chances, break down what either guy has to do, and look ahead to this year's men's final at Roland Garros. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not yet, smash the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers, and it is scientifically proven to help your tennis game if you do hit the subscribe button. So appreciate you, and appreciate AG1, our sponsor, one of our sponsors. I'm drinking AG1 literally right now, and it's a great way to get your foundational nutrition every day. It tastes about as good as it could for having that much healthy stuff in it. And I enjoy it as a daily habit. So if you want to try it, click the link below. Also, if you're going to bet, stay cool, bet responsibly with cool bet. And taking a look at the odds, we've got Djokovic versus Casper. The odds makers over at cool bet, giving Casper more of a chance than you might've thought 4.6 to one. And Djokovic, obviously the huge favorite at one point. Two, three to one. So, yeah, I think that's pretty fair. I think we'd all agree that that's about right. We've got Casper Rude, who had a terrible start to 2023. <coughs> Excuse me. Playing a lot better in this tournament than he has all year. Getting his pop back to his game, I thought. His zip back to his game. Um, looking like the player he was last year on clay. Um flying around the court, being super uh, intentional and aggressive with his footwork and his forehand looking huge and heavy. Uh, Djokovic, obviously, we know, but there's, do we need to explain? He's Djokovic. He's in the final. He beat Carlos Alcaraz, forced him to cramp. He made him so nervous that his muscles literally all seized up. Will he do the same thing to Kasparud? I doubt it. Kasparud has been here before, but he doesn't seem to be like the type of guy who gives him talks about himself having a chance. He said, you know, I, like basically after he beats Zverev convincingly, he said, you know, I'm going to, you know, last year was Nadal. Then at the U S open, it was Alcaraz. And now Djokovic in the final, he's kind of making a comment like, Oh, tough luck for me. It's like, no, in today's modern tennis, you have to beat the best to win majors. That's just like the fact of life. I guess, unless you're Carlos Alcaraz, you won the U S open without play, beating Djokovic or Nadal. But alas, Casper Ruud's going to have to come down here and go against a giant who is going for history. Djokovic going for the 23rd major of his title of his career, which is absolutely insane. He'll be the number one in the amount of majors ever won for a man, beating Nadal, beating Federer. He's already beaten Federer, but him and Nadal are tied. So that's huge for him. Huge motivation. Will he be nervous? Will it be like when he tried to win the Grand Slam? I doubt it. Casper Rude, Rude and Djokovic. I'm just going to pull up quickly their head to head because I don't have it. Um, but from what I what I feel like, the matchup isn't great. And yeah, four times they've played, four wins for Djokovic. Um, Casper's never actually won a set versus Djokovic, which is tough. Uh, they've had a few close ones though. Played once on clay in the semifinals of the of Rome last year, six four six three. So yeah, what does Casper got to do? Well, I made a list here. Casper, in order to have a chance to win, I'm not saying he will win if he does this, but if she wants a chance, Casper needs to make it physical. Move Djokovic side to side. Step up on the baseline. Move him. See if somehow his body breaks down don't know why it would but see if you can expose any weaknesses in the bot the body of Djokovic Two, serve amazing and then attack with the forehand first serve forehand combos are going to be Casper's friend he'll be able to hit winners against Djokovic if he plays this right 
uh, but he's got to actually do it. He's got to hit first serves. He's got to serve well, and he's got to hold serve. He basically, if you can get to tie breaks, as good as Djokovic is in a tie break, it's still a coin flip. So that's, if you can get a break, you got to hold serve. You just got to focus on holding serve. And then my last uh, tip for, for Kasparu there, as you can see, is pray. Pray to God that Djokovic just has a terrible day at the office and you have a great day because it is going to be tough. Djokovic's game is just so well-rounded. He can hurt you in every single way. Like he's, you know, arguably the greatest player of all time. And on this type of court, Clay may be his least successful surface, but still he can uh, he can do damage in so many ways. I'm thinking about like Rude's got to go back basically and watch Dominic team from I think 2017 and 18 or 16 and 17. We beat Djokovic a couple of times at the French Open, but I think 2019 was the last time they played actually at the French Open. Uh, he's got to go back and watch that match. This guy with a similar game, huge forehand, um, not as big of a backhand, maybe not as tall, but still, he can. you can ground and pound Djokovic a little bit on the clay, and he's just got to be up to the task. He's got to be mentally locked, and he's got to believe that he has a chance. Does he believe, though? I don't know. People are saying that Djokovic should do the same jumping around, running around that Nadal did before their match uh, at the French Open last year, which Casper has denied to the slice. He's spoken to us and said that didn't bother him at all, but I don't know. It's going to be an uphill battle for Casper Ruud, but like we said, it's not his first. He's played Nadal in the final of a major before. He's gone through that experience of walking out on the court to, to play someone who's better than Djokovic on this surface and on this tournament, on this uh, court. So he has been there before against an actually tougher opponent. So some of those nerves should be, he should have repetition now. He's also played in the US Open final. He's not a total rookie on this stage, which is good for Casper. Uh, Djokovic, on the other hand, is the opposite of inexperienced on this stage. He's won 20, 20, 22 slams. He's been like over 30 finals and he's going to be locked and ready to go. So I fully expect a Djokovic win. Um, and I fully expect him to be celebrating as the male player with the most majors of all time, a record that he's been chasing, which is actually just insane. If you think about it, I think when I started watching tennis, he had one major and I think Federer had 16 maybe at the time. Yeah. And Nadal had maybe 12. Then when I started the slice, I think Djokovic had like 12. Federer had 16. And Nadal had like 14. And then now it's 22, 22, 20. So unbelievable. It's crazy how time has changed and how good Djokovic has gotten. And again, I just can't stress how complete he looks out there. Um, but I will say, at the end of the second set against Alcaraz, it did not look good for Djokovic. He went and took a big long water or bathroom break, as players normally do. But he was not looking like he wanted to go four or five sets. So if Casper can get the first or second set and then keep it competitive, he's got a chance. But even if he gets the first two sets, you're still like putting money on Djokovic to win. So it's going to be a tough for for Casper. But there's a bit of a preview. My prediction: Djokovic. In three, honestly, um, but we'll see. It's going to be good. I hope it can be a good match and we can see some amazing tennis because we were kind of ripped off in the semifinals. We saw two good sets, and then unfortunately the cramps came in for Carlitos. But there's a preview of the men's final at Rolling Girls from your boy at the slice. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for clicking the links below to check out AG1 and Cool Bet, and we will see you next time here on the show.